of Rajiz the DJ at Michelle Ashira is where you can get me. Uh, so before I even go ahead on uh, who we have in studio, remember hit us on our social media accounts that is Y254 channel. We have a question for you. Do you think hip hop, um, hip hop music has uh, influenced the vulgar language that we get to hear from uh, most of our kids of late on social media trending a reference being Consolata, the video which trended alone. Do you think hip hop music has influenced that? Make sure you send in your opinions, your just your thoughts at Y254 across all our social media platforms. Speaking about hip hop, that's there right here. It's all about nurturing talent into each and every time we have a guest right here. So we make sure that they get the platform to showcase what they have and that is basically the talent as an ad. Uh, from uh, uh, freestyle to the good buzz. So today, our artist, she was here like two months, one month ago, she dropped uh, Nami Sihisi and she came here to just uh, show us what she got. And uh, we are very much, very much welcomed, very much welcomed, welcoming her. Yes, that's the right way. Welcoming her right back to promote her new jam. And she'll be speaking much more on that. You look gorgeous. Thank you so much. So you for also those, look gorgeous. Uh, thank you. So for those of us who are yet to be introduced to you, because now I feel like we are homies. Yeah. I feel like we're coming from way back. <laughs> so for those who don't, who are yet to know who you are, you can uh, yeah. use Kame and introduce yourself to them. I am Kiba Gendi. Mm -hmm. And I'm a female rapper. Actually, I'm a rapper. Yeah. Who also can sing mm -hmm. and act. Okay. But I'm incorporating them slowly as I go. Yeah, yeah. so you're focusing one, uh, focusing one, on one yeah, thing. I want to incorporate them slowly as I go. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, one thing that got cut across, uh, across all of your music, it's a very uh, aggressive in your bars, which is a good thing mm -hmm. from a lady. And I see, we, we have seen that from Kadi, Nikki. Um, uh, what would you describe your personality as? Um, Wait, hold up. Let me give you samples here so that I don't scoop like overboard. Because uh -huh. you'll be thinking, ah, okay. So, because I'm a uh, I'm a baggage of everything. So we have a couple of uh, options for Kiba. Kiba, she uh, she allowed me to call her that because Kiba Gende. It's a long <laughs> one, <laughs> guys. But I get you can uh, you can agree with me. So I'll go with the uh, mm, let's go sanguine who is more of enthusiastic, active, and social. And they are, most of them, when they enter in a room, they're very much bubbly, and they want you to recognize their, their presence. So we have, uh, OK, Chloric, uh, who are short-tempered, fast, and irritable. You see, look at that. Then we have melancholic. Mm -hmm. These are very much, people who are very much specific. They are analytical, wise, and quiet. Then we have phlegmatic. Mm -hmm. The phlegmatic are more of relaxed and peaceful like they go with the mood like they, they always they always come you have those people who i feel dj raj is your phlegmatic yeah he barely has so much to say but he's much more focused in his work you say simple as that so uh let's go with uh yukiba so how where do you fit in terms of your personality i think i'm more of a um, melancholic Analytical, wise, and quiet. I'm not that quiet though. <laughs> You're very like, loud. No, I, I'm quiet around mm -hmm. people that I don't know. Mm -hmm. But when I'm around people, I know I'm a bit yappy. Okay, so let's back because this this a uh, trending issue of young people and uh, just spitting out their thoughts on social media. Social media has become a very uh, important tool. Not just for uh, business owners, for artists equally, and uh, people want to put out their product out there. What is the one thing as a Kiba that you can actually uh, put out there in social media, regardless of if you want publicity, if you want the numbers, because numbers actually is how we make money. So yeah. what is the one thing that as Kiba you can put out there, even regardless you want publicity? Um. I think for me it's always been about my music and my sense of style and my and my personality. Mm -hmm. I think ever since I was young I've always had this personality. So I use my personality and the things I love and I post that to get the numbers and all that. And it has worked so, so far. Okay, so mm -hmm. it's all about your personality and your work. What yeah. is the one thing that you can put out? Uh, Regardless, I want the numbers, and I know if I put this out there, people are just going to be, there's, social media will be going crazy. Yeah, uh, so many things. 
You can mention uh, a couple, like two. Things like uh, sex tapes okay. and, and such. I don't know. I, I, uh, uh, you know, I'm a Christian off. and <laughs> Jesus is Lord. Yeah, it is. For the first time, you know, Kiba is, uh, yeah, I am. Uh, Jesus is, is a Lord. Christian. Okay. So there are certain things I, I don't mm -hmm. know, I just can do. Yeah, such things. Okay, so let's go back to your music. Yeah. Uh, we are celebrating 16 good years of Giuliani. Shout out to Giuliani. Shout out to Giuliani. On 27th, they will be at K1, and the entrance is free, celebrating more of 16 years into the game. And the theme of the whole event is uh, uh, staying in the course and just not quitting on yourself uh, in terms of your profession, in whatever you, in your journey, on what you love. And that is a very impactful thing for Giuliani to do. And it's just not promoting the, the art side of it, but also people who get into business. and so many things that you love. So how many years are you into this game? Um, I started recording rap back in 2012 when I was in Form 1. Mm -hmm. So let's say it's been roughly... And of course, Ligani Kwanza, 20 Shout out to <laughs> Naji, okay. Naivasha Girls. All right. um, that's when I, I, I started recording. Shout out mm -hmm. to my mother. She's the mm -hmm. best human being I've ever met. She didn't know what it was all about, so she was like, Let's just go to a studio. Let's just do it. I don't you know what's going on. You went to the studio on. with your mom. Yeah, That's she's so the best. That's so amazing. <laughs> okay, Yo, shout out to best moms like this. Yeah, shout I out. also went to studio with my mom after form four, and she's like, "You want to do music?" I'm like, "Yes, I want to do music." <laughs> their their producer just messed me up. Uh, she gave he gave me some beats, and then after listening to the jam, I'm like. No, this is not what I mm -hmm. visualize. This. So I like, that's how my career as an artist <laughs> as a <laughs> ended. I would have been a gospel artist right now. Yeah. yeah. So okay. So shout out to your mom. So shout out to her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you went to the studio. Yeah, so went to the, the studio. Jam? My first jam was so crazy. Mm -hmm. I don't remember what it was called, mm -hmm. but I remember a bar that I wrote. It was the funniest. Um, I was. It, it was like. Um, Oh, you're a rat from Iraq, boob. <laughs> you're did, a rat from Iraq. Okay, yeah, I know. It was like the craziest thing ever. But mm -hmm. I thank God for the progress because mm -hmm. six years later, there's been so much progress. Mm -hmm. And I thank God for that. Speaking about people who support you and being your mom, there's the uh, there's a mentality. Uh, I believe it's something that still goes on in the industry where people would like to take... Uh, exploit you yeah. just because they know you are and then there's a, uh, a thin line between ambition and being desperate so yeah. you will definitely just especially if you're going on the do or die mentality in the game so you'll you'll just tend to pick anything as long as it gets me wherever I want to be at and uh, probably I don't care what my name in the game, mm. how I'll make my name, how I'll like people to see me as so has there been a situation whereby someone wanted to exploit you just for you oh to get God, a platform so to be on TV, on radio, or just even to uh, produce your music? So many, I've, I've, as I said. It was I've, an instant. Um, I've had, most of my instances have been with producers okay. and artists. Mm -hmm. So you, you get a producer, especially well-known producers, of course I'll not mention names. Yes. So they show interest at first and they're like, oh, I see the talent. So they show interest and you think this person is out to help you. And then in the long run, you realize the person has ulterior motives. Maybe they want sexual favors. And when you don't give them, because Kibagendi, mm. I do not, okay. period. Mm -hmm. So if you do not give them, they're like, that's the end of the project. And I can always advise my girls, mm -hmm. especially the ones who are coming up right now, don't be afraid to walk away. Don't be afraid to say no. I know at the moment it's like, this is my world, it's crumbling down. But over time, you realize it's OK to walk away. It's OK mm -hmm. to say no, because the there is always a way. Where there's a will, there is a way. Okay, so has there been a situation where you felt like giving up? Oh my God, so many times. Mm -hmm. There's a time I took a break out of music for like two years, and my mom was like, what is happening? Because <laughs> she knows I'm so passionate, and then the passion just went for like two years. But we keep pushing. Keep pushing. Yeah. Keep mentioning, oh, your mom all the way. I feel like she's the most consistent supporter, apart from your mom. Who are the, some of the supporters that you have? Um, uh, my high school friends, the people mm -hmm. we were in high school with, they're actually like my core fans mm -hmm. um, because they saw me like rapping back in school. So they, back they, in the day. Yeah, back in the day, during cultural and doing all uh, that. So this, this <laughs> love of music didn't just start Yeah, I, I started mm -hmm. going to a studio in Form 1. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, those are other people that really, really support me and shout outs to them. And also like 
the people like in the industry I've gotten so much love from like the media houses like White Five Four. Oh, They've always shown me so much. Shout out to White Five Four. They've always shown me so much love. This is like the third time I'm coming here. Third time. Yeah. So this is definitely home. Now this we are home. Homies. Next time we meet, we just we are. Now our introduction yeah. needed. So let's talk about uh, if if music was off the table, what will Kiba be doing right now? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Probably because I've always loved music. I've always known I wanted to do music. Yes. Even the minute I, I started recording when I was in four months, so I already mm -hmm. knew what I wanted. Mm -hmm. So the only reason why I continued with high school is because, mm -hmm. you know, you want to finish and all that. But genuinely speaking, music has always been what I've always wanted to do. Okay. So yeah. is Kimbagedi signed under any label? Mm. Not yet. Not I'm a yet. free agent. You're a free agent. Are we looking forward to seeing that? Or, or first of all, you want to explore you as an independent artist all the way? Yeah, because plus I'm also releasing a mixtape, and Vukaboda is actually the first, it's the introduction to the mixtape. The mixtape oh, is what? called, yeah, the mixtape is called Blue Buzz. Obviously, I love blue. Blue Buzz, <laughs> it's, we can definitely tell you are nails this, a bit of blue, black, yeah. and definitely your hair. Yeah, I love me some blue, and I always do blue lipsticks. It's just like today, I was like, let me just change. Oh, what? Yeah. So it's called Blue Buzz Mixtape, and this is the first record on the mixtape, mm -hmm. and there are many more coming your way. All right, so you gave us Galzo, yeah. your video filled with lovely, beautiful ladies <laughs> all the Thank way. You. Shout out to you. Then we have Nami Sihisi, which you actually dropped here a couple of few months ago, yeah. told you. So now we have Vuka Boda. Yeah. Yes, tell us more about Vuka Boda and the storyline between, uh, and how you came up with the theme. Yeah. And the video who's behind that video. Yes. Yeah, um, first of all, the one who was behind that video was Rahi Baha, shout out to him. Mm -hmm. um, the audio producer, don't forget him. Yes, to that's her. what I was, because, oh my <laughs> God, uh, shout out to Seda. Yes. Seda is amazing, mm -hmm. so shout out to him. Anyway, mm -hmm. so Vukaboda, I remember Seda had been telling me, Kiba, come to the studio, because mm -hmm. we had met like a while ago, and then finally he had moved his studio to a more stable place. So one time I, I went to the studio and he was like, I want to play you a, a bunch of beats and you're going to tell me what you like. Okay. So the first beat he played, played is actually the beat on Vukaboda. Mm -hmm. So I had it and I was like, stop. I don't want to hear anything else. Mm -hmm. This beat is the one. And I remember I wrote it in the studio. It was a more nocturnal. Like, I go to the studio at night. So I was... Um, I, I listened to it and I was writing. I was writing the first part of, I know he's mad, I know she's mad. So I was asking myself, why are these people mad though? Mm -hmm. So the only thing that made sense was Mina Vukaboda, that's why they're mad. Speaking about people who are mad, how do you <laughs> deal with your haters? Um, first of all, I work harder so I can stunt on them. Okay. Uh, but honestly, I love my haters. I love them so much because they don't know what they do. They create a beast. Every time they think they're putting me down, mm -hmm. I come up even stronger so I love them shout us to them yeah <laughs> no will say yeah without haters like they, they're part of society you can't do nothing yeah. about it it's like when you wake up it's already uh, you, in your brain that you have to you know wash up clean up so yeah. it's the same thing they're always gonna be there Rajiza good vibes do you have any question for our guest Kibagedi all the sassy looking good uh, not a question actually, mm -hmm. but you to keep up the good work. Okay. Push, push, kabisa. All yeah. right. So, <laughs> so far, that is the advice Rajiz Amekupatia. And right here on uh, Hip Hop Thursday, we celebrate you and we love your, your work and we would love to hear more from you. So, make sure if you have any projects. Before I forget, I saw on your Instagram you collaborating with Kiddies. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, shout out to Kiddies, the Jumbe. Okay. So, um, I'm doing, as I mentioned, I'm mm -hmm. doing a mixtape. So Vukabodi is the introduction of the mixtape. Then I have a new new song that we recently recorded, and it's going to be featuring Kiddies. Mm -hmm. It's my song. He's featuring me. We had to do the video, and I cannot wait for the Where is fans. the video dropping? I don't know. We've not even shot it, but mm -hmm. we have the audio. Okay. So hopefully we'll be shooting it very soon. We're looking forward to seeing the work. i the people I look up to. Okay. So here it is, eh? I've, I'm almost done with this interview and I want uh, Kiba to perform and she's like, yo, you're not asking me, the people I'm looking up to, I'm like, yo, Kiba, see you too Interview see me in Afanya. I'm a, we switch the position. Okay, here we go, tell us, yeah? The people you look up to. 
Okay, <laughs> let me start. So yes. um, there's something you said that my style is very aggressive. Exactly. The reason why my style is very aggressive, I'm a big fan. Let me start locally. I'm a mm -hmm. big fan of Nazizi. Always been a big fan. Okay. Of her. And one thing I liked about her is she would get on a track with dudes and mm -hmm. kill dudes mm -hmm. on a track. So that's why I'm always aggressive, especially when I get on a track with dudes. It's murder she wrote. Then. All right. So uh, before you go to international, uh, any local artists you love to collaborate with? So because I'm hearing like. Nas kills the beat, and I know you, you definitely kill the beat. <sighs> so who is the artist right in Kenya you would love to work with? I say this a lot and people laugh, mm -hmm. and it's not even funny. I'd love to work with Ochungulo family. Ochungulo <laughs> family, the Gengeton. The Gengeton. I'm into that vibe right now. Okay. Yeah. But a while ago, if you'd have asked me like a while ago, I'd probably say Major. Mm. Yeah, because something like K. Jones is so expected. But okay. I wouldn't mind. You wouldn't mind. But it's so expected Can't for me. Now you know. Yeah. Kiba Rahi would love to work with you. So international? <laughs> um, I, the people I, the, I look up to internationally are, I, I, love, I love Beyonce. I, I love Beyonce okay. a lot. And the one thing I like about her is her performance. All right. Because she's, she's not only a singer, but she's also a performer. Mm -hmm. And that goes a long way in art. And then I also love Nikki, obviously. Obviously, <laughs> obviously. Shout out to her. Then I also love Drake. And the reason why I love Drake is because he impacted my music in a very major way mm -hmm. in terms of my flow. And also Jay-Z. I love Jay-Z. Are we done? Yeah. We are done? Yeah. You're comfortable? Now we can have you perform? Yeah. And people back at home, so make sure you give us give us your social media handles so that people back at home can keep tabs with your work and everything that you're up to. Remember, at Y254 channel is where you can get us across our social media platform, at Michelle Ashira. That's how you can reach out to me, and very much DMs are very much allowed. Yes, so <laughs> register DJ, you ready with Vuka Buddha? We good. So, Kibo, take the stage, and uh, let's Vuka Buddha. <laughs>